Hi there. Today we're going to talk about hardware setup for your brand new point of sale system. Today we're going to start with the cash drawer. Simply flip it over and notice the port on the bottom. We're going to take our cash drawer cable and plug it into this port. Once that's completed, we'll flip the cash drawer back over and then we'll get out our printer. We'll flip our printer around and notice this port on the back. We'll take the cable, the other end of the cable from the cash drawer and plug it into this port. Next, we'll take our power supply cable that's already plugged into the wall and plug it into this port right here. Then, we'll take the B end of our USB cable and plug it into the last port on the back of the printer. It's just to the right of the power cable. Then we'll flip our printer back around and we're ready to start on the computer. First, we'll turn it all the way around and remove the back plate. We'll lift up the customer display here, find the button for the back plate right here, and pull it right off. Now we'll take that, the other end of that USB cable from the printer and plug it into the USB port on the back of the computer. Then we'll take the power supply cable that's already plugged into the wall and plug it into the computer on the far left here. Make sure when you're plugging in these cables to organize them using the white clip organizer here. We'll just fold these behind. Perfect. Alright, now let's work on the scanner scale. Let me just bring it over here. First thing we'll do is we'll plug in to this red port on the back of the scanner scale. You'll see this cable actually comes from the scanner scale itself. So we'll just plug that in. Then we'll do the blue cable, which connects the scanner scale to the computer. The other end of this cable looks like a USB. And then we'll plug in the power on the far left side. Make sure it's in there securely and we're all set. Now I'll just set the scanner scale into the pre-cut hole here. Keep in mind you can actually lift the top plate of the scanner scale off like so. And this is how you'll want to drop it into the pre-cut hole. Put your fingers in the blue slots and slowly set it into the hole. We'll move those cables out of the way. Then we'll set the top plate back onto the scanner scale. Great. Lastly, we'll take the USB port from the other end of that blue cable and plug it into another USB port on the back of the computer. Now let's work on our pin pad. This is a VX805. So first we'll slide the back plate off like so. We'll grab this cable that came in the box. We'll plug it into the back of the pin pad here. Make sure it's secure and then fit the back plate back onto the pin pad. We'll just slide it on. Perfect. Now we'll plug in the USB cable into the computer into another USB slot. Make sure you do this before plugging in the pin pad to a power supply. Perfect. We're connected to the computer and I'll just slide that behind the white piece here. Now we have the power cable that's already plugged into the wall. We'll plug that right into the other end of that cable. 
You can see my VX805 is lit up and ready to work now. Let's show you for a uh, ISC250 as well. We'll flip it over and notice this port on the back. I have another cable that came with the ISC250 that matches up. So we'll just plug that in. Lift this clip up. And then flip the pin pad around. Again, we want to make sure that we connect this unit to the computer before we plug it in. So I'll plug in that USB port. There it is. And then we'll plug our power supply into that cable as well. Here it is. I'll just plug it in. And then you'll see that the pin pad is turned on and working. Great. Now let's put the back plate back on. We'll just line it up here. And if you've organized your cables well, this shouldn't be a problem. Let's we'll make sure all the corners are in. And now our hardware is all set up for our brand new point of sale system. Thanks for watching.